Of course, big news on Friday was that after being accused of crossing state lines, killing two people. After being accused of crossing state lines. Last year, during a Black Lives Matter protest, Kyle Rittenhouse was acquitted on all counts. Okay. Yeah, okay, cards on the table. I'm not a legal expert. So I can't tell you whether or not Kyle Rittenhouse broke the law. But I can tell you this. If he didn't break the law, we should change the law. You sound like a bitch, nigga. Uh, this is someone that drove across state lines. Doesn't isn't that different than than you you trying to defend your home or your property than just walking through the streets with an automatic weapon? Can't you expect that there's going to be trouble? Well, that's the argument I made. I do want to clear up one little um, misconception out there, Dave, that you just mentioned, and I, I hear this from a lot of people. There, there's a belief out there that he crossed state lines with the gun, and that that actually is not true. Oh. Um, this is a weapon that never left the state of Wisconsin. It was bought in a small town in Wisconsin. It was kept at his friend's residence in Kenosha, and when he came up that day, uh, he did get it from his friend's residence. Kyle Rittenhouse crossed state lines, and then usually you hear with an illegal gun, which turned out not to be true. Seeking to punish people that think that they can cross state lines, have an AR-15, and shoot people. That is the bottom line for me. Before August 25th of 2020, had that gun ever le left the state of Wisconsin? No. How is it that this young man who immediately tried to turn himself in was portrayed as a murderer who crossed state lines to kill when he crossed that state line almost every day to work and visit his father and friends? August 24th, Rittenhouse went up to the Kenosha area for his job as a lifeguard. Rittenhouse crossed state lines into a community that was not his. My grandmother, my aunt, my uncle and cousins all live in the city of Kenosha. You know, you've got this young white kid defending the community um, that he's not even from. What's your father's name? Michael Rittenhouse. He lived in Kenosha. Good evening from New York. I'm Chris Hayes. Kyle Rittenhouse was just 17 years old when he drove across state lines to Kenosha, Wisconsin. Stop sounding like a bitch and doing what a bitch do. The teenager drove from his home in Illinois. Approximately one mile to Wisconsin. Across state lines, driving across state borders. He's driving across state lines. Across the state lines, across state lines. Across state lines, across state lines. If you look at the Rittenhouse case, he crossed state lines. Drives up to, to, to events. Across state lines. Came across state lines. Kyle Rittenhouse, who traveled across state lines. From out of state, out of his own state. Came across state borders. Whenever you have a situation where a 17-year-old is crossing state state lines. He crosses a state line, drives 30 minutes into Kenosha. He crossed state lines. Cross state lines. Across state lines. He crossed state lines. Kyle Rittenhouse, who crossed state lines. Across state lines. Cross state lines. He went across state lines. Cross state lines. Cross state lines. And cross state lines. A 17-year-old kid from out of state. He from makes out of state. all cross state lines. Cross state lines. Cross state lines. Across state lines. Cross state lines. Went over state lines. Drove across state lines. He drove across state, had his mother drive him across state lines. Pulled across state lines. Carl Rittenhouse traveled from his home in Illinois across the state line to Wisconsin. Drove to a different state. Drives up to the state again drove across state lines. The state that he does not live in. He traveled there from out of state. He crossed state lines, meaning he traveled across state lines. The 17 year old who crossed state lines. Now again, he drove from Illinois to Wisconsin. The 17 year old from out of state who shows up to Kenosha, Wisconsin. He drove from Illinois to Kenosha, Wisconsin. Kyle Rittenhouse, who again traveled across state lines in a state that he doesn't even live in. He crossed state lines. He drove across state lines. We know that Kyle Rittenhouse traveled across state lines uh, to go to Kenosha and he murdered two protesters. Willing to drive across state lines to commit murder. And did anyone help him cross state lines? Uh, his mama drove him across state lines. Rittenhouse's mother drove her son across state lines. Here you have a 17 year old boy who was driven by his mother across state lines with an automatic weapon. My mama would never drive 
either one of us across state lines to go to a freaking riot. Rittenhouse in Kenosha, uh, allowing his mom to take him across state lines, across state lines. Across state lines, across state lines. He crossed state lines with an AR-15, threw himself in the middle of all this and started shooting people. Uh, a 17-year-old uh, sort of self-anointed vigilante. But, but remember, he came across the line too young to legally carry that weapon. Why the left, they're so concerned about crossing state lines. What about international borders? Why don't they care about that? State lines, Wisconsin, Illinois, the biggest deal in the world. But the Texas-Mexico border, that one, that one is optional. His mother drove, drove him, him. There. Yes. And it's not like she didn't know he had a weapon. You can't hide that weapon. Is she shirt. being charged as well? No. no. I wonder but why not. Why not? She took a minor knowing that he had a rifle with him. An unregistered rifle. An unregistered assault, assault rifle. rifle. Yes, exactly. Why is she not being charged? A white, Trump-supporting, MAGA-loving, uh, Blue Lives Matter social media uh, uh, partisan, 17 years old, picks up a gun, drives from one state to another with the intent to shoot people. A 17-year-old boy mm -hmm. who drove across st state lines with an AR-15 and started uh, shooting people up, including a guy with a skateboard. Kyle Rittenhouse, who has killed protesters, unarmed protesters. Rittenhouse is a 17-year-old that went with a weapon into the middle of uh, protests uh, and then provoked people and then shot and killed them. Kyle Rittenhouse is the enemy. A boy from out of state drives up to the state with an AR-15 around his neck, shoots right there. and kills yeah. a couple of people. Uh, shooting wildly, running around, uh, acting like uh, rent a cop. Drove across state lines armed with a rifle to go and shoot people. You supposed to be a man, nigga. Y'all coming on these motherfucking videos like bitches. Matt Gates. After the verdict, Gates tweeted, not guilty. Of course, Gates has a vested interest in juries finding people not guilty especially when it involves a 17-year-old crossing state lines. You, you're a bitch boy. You're a tampa boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. What is a stay free? You're a stay free boy. Bitch boy. Yeah! Me. It makes me so angry that someone could just walk into a place and say, well, I was defending myself right. with, like you said, a gun that wasn't licensed. Exactly. Yeah, and of course, they're saying that race can't come into this situation. People are saying because the they victims were white. were white. Well, they right. were white people that were allies to the Black Lives Matter movement. I'm not a racist person. I support the BLM movement. I support peacefully demonstrating. This now 18-year-old was downright harassed and abused by a hostile prosecutor. The shot that killed Mr. Rosenbaum was a shot to the back. This occurred after the defendant chased down Mr. Rosenbaum and confronted him. You got a gun, baby. Ooh, they shoot. Ooh, they shot him. Computers. Just real quick before, was, he was, wasn't he not old enough to, to legally own a gun? Or carry a gun? Correct. Yes, he was 17 years old. Yeah. Okay, all right. Kyle Rittenhouse is now facing five counts instead of six after the judge interpreted Wisconsin's open carry law. One of the charges, one of the lesser charges against Rittenhouse here is that he was unlawfully, as a minor, in possession of a firearm. He's inarguably essentially guilty of that. There's some defense that there's some hunting law that would allow him to, to hold a gun. I don't think that's going anywhere. Many, many legal experts, they believe that charge was going to be the easiest one for the prosecution to prove. But again, that charge has now been dropped. So right. So Do Biden ran his whole campaign based off Charlottesville, remember? Yep. That's how he launched it. It was basically, I'm running against a white supremacist in the mm -hmm. White House. So they spark these riots, and these riots aren't supposed to be messed with. They're supposed to be able to just burn and loot and go mm -hmm. crazy. 
Kyle Rittenhouse comes in. He has a right to carry in this country. You have a right to carry. And he got in the way of that. And they wanted mob justice. And so they had to slander him as a white supremacist. And despite the clear video evidence, they had to cook this guy. They want him to rot in prison. Well, you know what's amazing is that as you watch the prosecution's case disintegrate, you see the left get even more disturbed about the fact that this kid may win. This kid, maybe Americans do have a right to the Second Amendment to have a gun to defend themselves. Just put hashtag bitch boy, hashtag time pound boy, hashtag stay free boy. Because that's what she is, nigga. Somebody's gonna hurt someone before the night is through. Somebody's gonna come undone. There's nothing we can do.